you go about choosing a great laptop with so many models on the market? It can certainly be tough. In this video, we're going to break down the best laptops on the market today. We'll be taking a look at laptops in every budget range, so regardless of whether you've got a few bucks to spare and want the best value or are looking for the best of the best, we'll have an option for you. So if you're interested in finding out which laptop is best suited to you, keep watching. As always, all the links to all the products mentioned in this video will be in the description down below. We also update the description down below with links to find the best price on each product. So for the most up-to-date information along with updated prices, be sure to check out the description. The products mentioned in this video are in no exact order, so be sure to stay tuned till the end so you don't miss anything. First on our list is the Apple MacBook Air, our choice for a great laptop for college. If you're heading off to college or university this year, it's a safe bet that you're going to need a good laptop. Apple's MacBook Air might be a great choice for you. Most students want something to be lightweight and portable with enough battery power to make it through the day without a problem. Not only is it one of the thinnest and lightest laptops on the market, but it's priced under $1,000, which makes it one of the most popular choices for college students. The MacBook Air isn't just portable, it's also packing a lot in the functionality department. The Air's Retina display is crisp and bright, which is great not just for the classroom but also for a Netflix binge later in the evening. A key part of the Retina display is its built-in color accuracy that doesn't require any calibration. If you're going to college for graphic design, photography, or video editing, this is really important. The MacBook Air is very light at just 2.75 pounds and super thin. Carrying it under your arm is as easy as carrying it in a backpack. The keyboard and trackpad are at the top of the class, and Apple has added other bells and whistles including fingerprint identification, a T2 security chip, and an enhanced battery that can net up to 12 hours. The MacBook Air lacks the power necessary for heavier tasks like hardcore gaming, and it doesn't include a touchscreen, which would have been nice to see for this price point. It's built with convenience, balance, and longevity in mind. If you're looking for a laptop with a touchscreen and don't mind paying slightly more, the Dell XPS 13 is another great option that we'll be touching on next in this video. However, if you're a student looking for a laptop for daily tasks that will last you a long while, the MacBook Air makes the perfect campus companion. Next, we have the Dell XPS 13, our pick for the best 2-in-1 laptop. 2-in-1 laptops have become very popular, and it can be very difficult to find the right one. The Dell XPS 13 is a great choice, offering a lot of versatility, features, and hardware power for those who want a more robust 2-in-1 laptop for their needs. It comes with a few more bells and whistles than the MacBook Air for a slightly higher price tag that comes in under $1,300, which is just right for those who want a balance between affordability and function. The XPS 13 sports a 13.3-inch Infinity Edge 4K display with a thin bezel designed for excellent edge-to-edge -edge viewing without any distraction. It's also touch-enabled for extra convenience, making it easy to tap and swipe through browsers and apps. The display quality is excellent, with accurate color quality and a nice degree of brightness for easy viewing, even in dark rooms. It runs on an Intel Core i7 CPU, 16GB of RAM, and comes with 512GB of storage, which means there's plenty of power under the hood when it comes to multitasking, watching videos, or even some light to intermediate gaming. It includes a pair of Thunderbolt 3 ports and a USB-C port for up-to-date connectivity options, plus a microSD card slot and headphone jack. It wasn't designed specifically for gaming in mind, but the XPS 13 can handle many of today's games on mid to high settings without suffering from massive frame rate drops, which is a nice plus. Battery life is somewhat limited at around 8 hours, which isn't the best for a laptop in this range. If battery life is a must, you may be interested in the Acer Aspire E15, which we'll be touching on shortly. The Dell XPS 13 is far more powerful, however, with a brilliant 4K display, excellent build quality, and a top-notch keyboard and touchpad to round off a very attractive 2-in-1 laptop prospect. Up next is the Apple MacBook Pro, 
our choice for both the best laptop for video editing and the best MacBook. If you're big into video editing and other tasks that require a laptop with a lot of power, Apple's MacBook Pro is a viable option. Rather than being tethered to a fixed desktop computer, the MacBook Pro acts as a portable workstation that you can take with you to work or client meetings. It's also got more than enough power to handle video games and some movie watching, which makes it a well-rounded laptop for just under $2,200. The MacBook Pro runs on a 6-core Intel i7 processor with 16GB of RAM and powered by an AMD Radeon Pro graphics card. This is a great package for video editors who need the acceleration capabilities of a powerful GPU to decrease rendering times and complete projects in a fast, timely manner. That also makes it great for gaming too. The Retina display is color accurate out of the box, which is vital for video editors who need to color correct their footage. The Touch Bar offers another level of interactivity that merges with individual programs to allow for quick touch selection of certain tools and functions. Thunderbolt 3 connectivity is what gives the MacBook Pro an advantage, however, allowing for connection of 4K and 5K monitors, high-capacity data storage devices, and even external GPUs to give video editors and power users more options when it comes to expanding the machine's power. Despite its power, the MacBook Pro is quite expensive for what it offers. Dedicated power gamers may opt for the Razer Blade 15, which we'll be showcasing later in this video, while casual users may opt for the MacBook Air with a far lighter price tag. The MacBook Pro was designed with Apple diehards in mind, especially those who video edit on the Mac platform. If you're a Final Cut Pro user, you'll love how the program takes full advantage of the MacBook Pro's hardware, including the touch bar. Are you someone that spends hours a day on your laptop? Whether you are watching Netflix or finishing up a final report, this stand is going to be an absolute game changer. With this stand, you can use your computer in bed, on the couch, or just about anywhere comfortably and not worry about your computer overheating or getting annoying neck cramps. It's super lightweight, so you can move it from your bed to your desk where it doubles as a standing workspace. The best part about this stand is that it doesn't cost hundreds of dollars like standing desks. I've personally been using this stand for a few weeks and have noticed a significant reduction in back pain and stress. I love having the ability to sit for a few hours, then lie down on my couch while doing some work and actually be completely comfortable. Be sure to take advantage of the special pricing and check the description below for a link to it. Up next is the Acer Aspire E15, our choice for the best budget laptop. If you're shopping for a laptop on a tight budget, it can be really hard to pick a solid device from everything that's out there. The Acer Aspire E15 is a great choice if you're looking to stay within your budget while still getting a good laptop with lots to offer. Priced under $350, it's got a great set of internals that make it a prime choice for budget-conscious buyers. The E15 is powered by an Intel i3 CPU and 6GB of RAM, which is a solid combo for a laptop at this level, as well as a 1TB hard drive which offers plenty of storage for your files and programs. There's even an 8x DVD drive thrown in for some backward compatibility. The full HD LED display is not the best in class, but it's still sharp with a respectable level of brightness that is standard for a laptop in this price range. Battery life is very good, netting up to 13 and a half hours before requiring a recharge, which is a very big plus for a budget laptop. This means it can easily make it through the day and still have enough charge left over for some internet browsing or movie watching when the day is over. True Harmony speakers offer clean, clear sound and music playback, and USB-C connectivity allows for ultra-fast data transfers and charging speeds. The keyboard and touchpad are both very nice to use. Good spacing of keys ensures easy typing with a responsive feel, and the touchpad is especially responsive when using Windows 10 gestures. The Acer Aspire E15 can't handle heavy tasks like video editing, high-end multitasking, or hardcore gaming like some of the other models on our list, which are built for these purposes. Its main focus is on providing a solid budget-level laptop that can handle casual day-to-day -day tasks with more than enough battery power for some fun later on in the evening, and plenty of storage for your apps and files. Finally, we have the Razer Blade 15, our pick for the best gaming laptop. 
There are a lot of gaming laptops on the market, but both power and price tend to fluctuate a lot, which can make it hard to pin down the right one to invest in. The Razer Blade 15 packs a ton of power without the bloated size most often associated with high-end gaming laptops. This is great for those who want ultra-fast gaming on the go for a price under $2,900. The Razer Blade 15 runs on a very fast 6-core Intel i7 CPU with 16GB of RAM and a very powerful NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2080 video card for the next generation of ray trace gaming. The full HD Max-Q display can run at refresh rates as high as 240Hz for buttery smooth lag-free gameplay. The display is 100% color accurate out of the box, which is excellent not just for games, but movies, graphic design, and other heavy tasks like video editing. It's rounded off by some of the thinnest bezels we've ever seen on a laptop, allowing for near-perfect edge-to-edge viewing from corner to corner. Gaming laptops tend to be thick and bulky, but the Razer Blade 15 is less than an inch thick and weighs just under 5 pounds. No small feat for a machine with this level of performance and power. Battery life is quite limited at just 4 hours, but this is to be expected with a high-end gaming laptop. It's also very expensive, which may not suit your budget. For a powerful laptop that can handle video gaming at reduced settings, the MacBook Pro might be a better option, especially if cost is a concern. The Razer Blade 15 is aimed squarely at hardcore gamers who want an immensely powerful gaming laptop with the latest hardware, and that's where it truly shines. Alright guys, that is all for this video. Hope you guys liked the video. If you guys did, please go ahead and give it a like. If you're new to the channel and you liked the video, consider subscribing. We do our best to keep you up to date with the best products on the market right now, so if you want to know what the best gear out there is, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Be sure to check out the description for links to find the most up-to-date pricing on all the products mentioned in this video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, hope everyone has a great day, and until next time, I will see you guys later. Jack it up.